All hail. You know, I absolutely despise people with a savior complex. Now, as you all know, I'm not the most politically correct dude on the planet. A lot of the videos I make are arguing with the so-called woke movement, so-called SJWs as far out of favor as that term has fallen. And I get really, really annoyed at these so-called saviors, be it white saviors, be it gay saviors. Pick one. These people that pertain to speak for communities they have no right to be speaking on behalf of, you know. One such case is this video I watched with an alleged comedian by the name, name of James Barr. He went on Piers Morgan's show, and this is the second video I've seen with this dick arguing with Piers Morgan. It was a video to do with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and the recent movie that is coming out. There's a whole bunch of controversy over casting dwarf actors as the dwarves and the general gist of the story and so on and so forth. Peter Dinklage criticised the concept of the dwarves and dwarf actors and so on and so forth. And James Barr came in, you know, defending truth, justice and the Peter Dinklage way. But on the other side of the coin was Dylan Postal. Now if that name sounds familiar to you, he's the dude that was Hornswoggle in the WWE for 10 years. He's an alumnus of both WWE and Impact Wrestling. I think he's made cameos for MLW at points too. But he's mostly been an ex-WWE and Impact guy. So, he was on the show too and you had this little tete-a-tete -tete with fucking him and James Barr with Piers Morgan in the middle. Hornswoggle basically spent the entire time getting shouted over by these two egomaniacs, but you had James Barr sitting there trying to be condescending to this dude who was giving his take as someone who was acted in movies. Hornswoggle's gist of his argument was that Peter Dinklage doesn't talk for all dwarf actors, and if you're gonna have a fucking go at me for that terminology, bear in mind Hornswoggle uses the term dwarf actors to describe himself. So, I'm quoting the man himself here. So, Hornswoggle says that Peter Dinklage doesn't talk for all dwarf actors and the things he's saying, and he's annoyed that Peter Dinklage is trying to contribute to a lack of work for people like Hornswoggle because there aren't that many roles for dwarf actors in Hollywood, which, fair fucking argument. So then on the other side, you get this irritating fucking woke skull sitting there trying to chastise the man himself for his opinions on his community. Therein lies my disdain for people with a savior complex because they will sit there and tell you as a member of your community that you are wrong for not agreeing with their opinion on your community. That's some obnoxious bullshit. See, the thing that pisses me off about people like James the Jackwagon is they pertain to speak for entire communities that didn't ask for their opinion to start with. Look at this interview. The clown pretty much admits as much while being too stupid to realize he's admitted as much. Hornswoggle spends most of the interview trying to speak while being yelled over by peers in this idiot. And at the end of the interview, you get James basically say that if Piers was saying exactly the same thing Hornswoggle was saying, he wouldn't listen because it's not Hornswoggle saying it. How the fuck do you make logical sense of that statement? Hornswoggle directly asks, if something was being written on my behalf by someone, and they were quoting me verbatim, would you criticize them because it's not me directly saying it? And James goes, without missing a beat, yes. How the fuck does that make sense? They're saying word for word what the guy you are claiming to stand up for is saying. And as Hornswoggle said, since when does Peter Dinklage talk for all dwarf actors? He doesn't. Was there an election we all missed? where a whole bunch of little people got together and elected Peter Dinklage as the voice for each and every single fucking one of them? I think not. And so, James is electing himself to do exactly the same thing, and when someone he's pertaining to speak for tells him, well, 
I disagree with what you're saying. I disagree with what Peter's saying. I disagree with what you're saying. When someone in that community he's trying to speak on behalf of says that, he still doubles down. He doesn't fucking humble himself. He doesn't sit there and go, okay, well, I didn't hear all voices before I jumped to my conclusion. Okay, I apologize. I will backtrack and say that, obviously, he doesn't speak for you. Now, James Burr is the type of dude who expects everybody else to listen to the people he claims to be speaking on behalf of. So why is he not sitting down, shutting up, and listening to the people from these communities that disagree with him? Is that not what a reasonable person would think? Is that not what a sensitive person would think? Is that not what an inclusive person who cares about these minority communities would do? Apparently not if you're James Barr. But this is why I hate these so-called saviors. Because they are trying to speak for a community that didn't fucking ask them to in the first place. And when they're confronted by someone from that community that tells them as such, they backpedal and double down instead of going, Whoops. You're pertaining to speak for people who didn't ask you to speak for them in the first place, and when they say that they don't agree with you, you then go ahead and chastise them for disagreeing with you on an issue that affects them. That's not being an ally. That's not being a savior. That's being a pompous, woke, narcissistic asshole who is trying to take a high road on a subject which doesn't pertain to you to start with. And I hate smug motherfuckers like this James Barr asshole. As I say, that's now two different interviews at least I've seen with him. Talking to Piers Morgan, where he is so obnoxious and so bad at arguing his ideas, I'm agreeing with Piers Morgan. Let me reiterate, I am agreeing with Piers fucking Morgan on social issues because this guy is so stereotypical and fucking obnoxious that he's making his argument look like shit. He is putting his message across poorly. He is behaving like a childish asshole. He is ticking every single box of his stereotypical woke SJW. And I don't give a fuck if you don't like that terminology. If you don't like it, give me something more modern and more fucking current to use. You know what I mean, so don't be a shit cunt. But being the most stereotypical woke SJW motherfucker in the room and expects to be taken seriously. I mean, the first one I saw was him with Douglas Murray about Sam Smith, as I mentioned in that Sam Smith Ezra Miller video. He's so bad at arguing his point, he tries to discredit Douglas and Piers by calling them straight white men who can't speak for fucking Sam Smith. Douglas Murray's gay. Douglas Murray is well known as being gay. Douglas Murray has been accused by people who think the same as James of being a sexuality traitor because he's a gay man who doesn't buy into this politically correct bullshit. But the minute that he says, well, actually, I'm gay too, James, so shut the fuck up, James doesn't humble himself yet again. He doubles down and tells Douglas that he should be ashamed of himself as a gay man for not agreeing with what James thinks a gay man should be. Now, does this sound like a very open-minded ally to you? Sure as fuck doesn't to me. It sounds like an arrogant, whiny, smug douche. And that's what James Barr is. A douche. And that's what all of these fucking wokies are. Douchebags. And people like James make me laugh ironically because nine times out of ten, the people they claim they're speaking on behalf of don't agree with them. People like James Barr are the type of people that got up who can from The Simpsons. Not the type of people that tried to get Speedy Gonzalez banned in Mexico. Yet if you talk to an Indian person or a Mexican person, they will tell you they love those characters because of the positive aspects of their personalities. Not so much the stereotypes. They overlook those because there is an underlying message of positivity in these characters. A lot of Indians love Apu because he's a hard-working, successful man, in spite of all the character flaws they've given him, and he's a little bit stereotypical. We've all known someone like Apu. 
Every single one of us, every single one of you watching the video, maybe not, you'd be a very rare person if you haven't, but we've all met someone like Apu. Successful business owner, small convenience store, small dairy, whatever. Wife, kids. But they're successful, and they live a successful life with a family, with a business. And that's why a lot of Indians like Apu. A lot of Mexicans love Speedy Gonzalez because he's never portrayed as being a slow, dumb loser. Speedy Gonzalez is usually the smartest, most successful one in all of his cartoons. Yet a bunch of gringos reckon, oh, um, yo, Mexican people, you should be offended by this mouse, he's an offensive stereotype. Then the Mexicans go, no, well, we're not offended, we like this guy. And then you get these same spicy mayo-loving motherfuckers sitting there going, well, you should be offended, and here's why. No, 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 don't, don't thank me. Don't thank me. You don't need to thank me. It's all good. I will go complain on behalf of you and get this thing cancelled. When they didn't ask in the first fucking place. And this is the type of people James Barr appeals to. And I have to wonder what the fuck kind of comedy this guy does because he seems like such a miserable, obnoxious prat. Both times I've seen him on Piers Morgan. It's embarrassing, dude. And someone said in the comments of that video that James Barr is the encapsulation of something Mike Tyson once said, where because of the internet, people are now really brave, and they're not copping a punch in the face, and that's the cause of their bravery, or, you know. It's a roundabout Mike Tyson quote I just fucked up, but the point is... James acts the way James acts because he's never copped a punch in the face. And that's definitely something I can see in his behaviour. You look at this interview, when he's not being yelled over by both of these idiots, Hornswoggle comes across as polite. Extremely polite. A lot more polite than I could ever hope to be in that situation. Reasonable, well-spoken, intelligent, and articulate. Meanwhile, James Barr comes across as extremely rude, extremely obnoxious, and extremely condescending. Again, he makes Piers Morgan look good. He makes Piers Morgan seem professional by comparison. And don't get me wrong, I think Piers is a dick. But every time he invites this little fucking chicken comb-headed motherfucker onto his show, James proceeds to make Piers look reasonable by comparison. And that's a scary thought. But James Barr has the saviour complex. At one point, he even tries to play the, well, as a gay man card, I know what it's like to be in your position, Dylan. He compares being gay to being a little person, or a dwarf, or a midget, whatever you want to call them. He even fucking does the whole I'm speaking on behalf of you thing with Hornswoggle there and gets his shit kicked. At one point... He tries to chide Piers for using the term dwarf actor and says he should instead use the term actor with dwarfism to which Hornswoggle says, well, I'm perfectly fine with the term dwarf actor. In fact, that's how I describe myself. And then James backpedals with, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll call you whatever you want to be called. That, that's your prerogative, like bro flip-flops as well. Rather than concede, it's just, um, yeah, okay, whatever. But anyway, my point is, I'm going to continue being an obnoxious little wanker. I can't stand people with this fucking saviour complex, dude. Because it's all well and good if you want to be a woke scold on behalf of your own community. Whatever. It's still obnoxious because you still don't speak for a majority of your community. You speak for a loud, obnoxious part of your community, but you don't speak for a majority of your community. And yet you fucking sit there trying to be the saviour of everyone else's communities. Like I say, fucking James Barr trying to talk on behalf of dwarfs everywhere, based on something Peter Dinklage said, comes up against one that doesn't agree with him, and he doesn't know what the fuck to do all in all. Because he's told, you don't speak for me, neither is Peter Dinklage. The problem with people like James Barr is their egos are so big. They think that being pompous and condescending makes them progressive. The reality is 
They're too stupid and narcissistic to realize that all they're doing is being patronizing and pissing both sides off. Both the people that disagree with them and the people they're trying to argue on behalf of. Because you have people going, you're a fucking idiot, you're annoying in what you're saying, stupid. And then you get the people on the side that he's trying to argue for going, yeah, now nah, this guy over here, I don't agree with him, but he's right. I don't agree with him a majority of the time, I should say, but he's right. Meanwhile, you've got the douchebag being a savior in the middle going, yes, yes, that's fine, dear, but anyway, I'll continue to speak for you even though you didn't ask me to. There's a magical and hilarious arrogance in it that I don't think I could summon. It would be hilarious if it weren't so fucking pathetic. James Barr and people like him are everything that's fucking wrong with social justice movements. They are so insufferably obnoxious and smug to a point that nobody wants to hear them talk. The only time they want to hear them talk is to hear them get schooled and to hear them eventually get to a point where even they have to take an L and shut the fuck up. Fucking hate people like this, dude. Dude, I can't fucking say it enough. Anyway, thank you for listening to this one. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.